Thanks, Rabbi Cooper. Uh, Congressman Deitch, I just want to come back again to this visual because it's in real time. This was posted by a professor at Rutgers University on his Facebook page. We have a young girl, 19 years old, who went to Rutgers because she wants to get her degree in food science. This is the guy she's going to have to go and sign up for because right now there is absolutely no price to pay. There's no red line, nothing about uh, someone uh, in a position of responsibility who openly expresses such vile hate, and there's, there's nothing to protect that fresh freshman from pursuing her course. Right. And, and Mr. Greenblatt, am I, am I so off base here? Have we been going down the wrong path worrying about the 118 cases so far of anti-Semitism so you're, far you're, this year? Congressman, you're dead on. I mean, again, I know some people teach courses over the course of 15 weeks, the ADL's been tracking this for over 100 years, and data doesn't lie. And what you pointed out about the definition is exactly correct. This doesn't inhibit the ability of an individual, student, faculty, or otherwise, to criticize an Israeli policy, but it does acknowledge, as that definition does, that definition, by the way, that was done in consultation with leading experts from academia and communal organizations, and it's used by our embassies around the world to track anti-Semitic incidences. So some might not like it in its abstraction, but in its practicality, I would submit to this committee, it has been vital to our State Department doing its work to protect Jewish communities around the world.